how to set up call forwarding for the VIA IP office using the VIA 1408, 1416, 1608, or 1616. The VIA IP office can enable phones to do call forwarding in several different ways. However, there is a built-in function which we'll show you in this video. To get to call forwarding, hit the features button. Scroll down until you see the forward and hit select. You'll see four options in the forwarding menu. You have follow me to, follow me here, forward unconditional, or forward busy no answer. Follow me to is if you are, want all your calls to go to a different ex internal extension. You would hit select and then you'd enter in the extension number. We're going to hit extension 202, save, and it takes us back to the main screen. Notice now there's a status on the main screen. We hit the status button and it tells us follow me to extension 202. That means anyone internally who calls 202 will get forward. Sorry, anyone internally who calls my extension 201 will be forwarded to 202. I could clear it or edit it. Now the forwarding is off because the status is gone. The other option is forward, follow me here. And here we works just the opposite. I'm at extension 201. I want to get all calls from 202. I hit the add button. I type in 202. Or if you notice, I could have hit the directory and scroll through the internal user directory. 202. Save. Back. And exit. Now again, the status light is on. The status button is on. I hit the status and it shows follow me here, extension 202. Anyone who calls 202 will ring at 201. And I could clear that. Next option is forward, forward unconditional. Here I could put in the number. Remember, you would have to put in the numbers if you were dialing it. So this is an external number. I would have to put the 9. If it's an internal number, I just put in the extension. I could also have the option to send it directly to voicemail. Here I'm going to do it for an external number. So you just begin typing in the number. Hit the save button. Now you have the option to select you want it for all calls, external, and group. And you can do this either by hitting the, the arrow buttons to scroll back and forth, or hitting the change button. This will also scroll through the options for you. In most cases you want it for all call. Hit the done button. Now you'll notice two things. One, there's status, and also there's a little D there. That means you have forwarding on. When you hit status, it shows you who you have it set forward to. You could turn it off just as follows. And then we could go back and turn it on. And we just hit the on button, and it already has the number already saved in there. We could go through again, change, done. To change the number, example, you want to change it this time to a different number, we hit the status, and we hit details, and we could hit edit, and therefore that way we could edit the forwarded number. So right now it's forwarded. So if I and this phone dial 201, it's, it ends up dialing the external number. I'm going to disable it right now. Details. I mean, sorry, off. And then there's one more option, which is forward. Forward busy no answer. This means it will not forward the call unless you're on another call and don't have any more call appearances, or you have call waiting disabled, for example. And you could turn that on there. You could also go to forward and no answer. This means if you do not answer, instead of going to your voicemail, it will go be forwarded to another number. And you could set that over there as well. And then you'd set for all calls and what number you want it to be forwarded to as well. All right, so those are the different ways of forwarding. We can also make, in the, like in this case, I made a sh button that does the forwarding for me. I made this button here. When I enable it, it shows up the last number and I hit the done button. That's a little quicker, but it requires a button to be used for your forwarding. So that you'd have to ask your administrator to set that up for you. And again, we can do status off. Now we have no forwarding or follow me enabled.